Hey guys, and welcome to a new video in this computer vision tutorial. In this video here, we're going to install OpenCV and then we're going to set it up with Visual Studio Code uh, by using CMake. So I'm going to show you how we can actually like install OpenCV and CMake first of all, and then we're going to jump into Visual Studio Code and I'll show you how we can set up OpenCV with CMake in Visual Studio Code. But first of all, remember to join the Discord server. I'll link to it down in the description here and you can come join our community, chat with us about computer vision, deep learning, and so on. You can now also become a member of the channel here for some exclusive perks. Uh, where you can support the channel here with a small amount of fee and everything will go to make better and more quality content here on the channel So thank you guys. So first of all, we just go to the OpenCV official website here on the releases So we actually like get these different kind of versions versions here of OpenCV that we can download and then and then depending on the platform that we're on if we're on Windows or iOS or something like that or if you just want to like the source files and um, for OpenCV as well for a specific version you're going to the release side here on the on the official website and then just hit the button here and in this case here i'm on windows i've already installed it uh, on my computer but if you hit this button here you will go directly to the download link and it will download an executable file that you can then uh, just set up and specify where you want to store OpenCV on your computer and we're going to use that later on when we're going to set it up with visual studio code so the second thing we're going to use when we're going to set up um, OpenCV here in Visual Studio Code, we're going to use CMake. So we can actually like just create a CMake file. We can include the OpenCV library and link to that. And then we can build that together with our, uh, with our own files in Visual Studio Code. So first of all here, we just go to the CMake official website here again. And then we can go down here to, to where we can download the latest releases. And if we hit this button here, it will now go into the, to the latest releases here. We can scroll down to the button here and then we can uh, choose our platform that we're on. So if you either want it from like from the source files or we just want some binary distribution where we just have an executable file that we can run. So it just uh, so it just installs uh, our program. So in this case here, I'm on Windows X64 here installer. So I just I just chose this installer here and you will get this executable file that you can execute and then it will download and uh, install um, CMake here on your computer. And then we're going to use CMake later on inside of Visual Studio um, to actually like set up OpenCV. So now we have both OpenCV and CMake installed here on a computer in the directory that we specified it in. So first of all here, I'm just going to show you that we have OpenCV, I have installed OpenCV here on my, on my D drive. So if we go into the OpenCV folder here, we can see that we will have the source file and we have some build files, uh, which we're going to specify the path for in our, inv our uh, environmental uh, variables, as I'm going to show you uh, in a second. So if we go into this build folder here and we go down to the x64, because this is the, uh, the, bit, uh, the, the version here that we're going to use. And if we go into that, we can see we have this uh, VC14 or 15. And this is just the version numbers uh, here in OpenCV. So if we're going to VC14 here, for example, we have to, uh, to, have, we have to add these uh, two folders or directories here to our env environmental var uh, variables. So we both have this bin folder here where we have our different kind of like libraries or like the dynam dynamic libraries that we're going to link together um, in Visual Studio Code to actually like be able to run OpenCV and build our, our files together. And we also have this library here where, where we just have these different kind of CMake files here that we can go in and, con uh, and con configure. And then we're going to, to link all of these things together, build them together in one project, and then we can actually like use OMCV in Visual Studio Code uh, later on. But first of all, we're going to uh, add these to the environmental uh, variables here. So if we just, just go down here to the search bar and we hit this edit the system environment variables, and we're going to here, we get this tab down here, environment variables. And if we hit this, we can go down to the system variables here and we can find this uh, path variable here. So inside of this path variable here, we're actually like going to specify the directory uh, to this uh, um, bin and, and library files here that I just showed you in my folders. And we're also going to add our CMake bin here to, um, to, to our environmental path here as well. So I just installed here the, the CMake in my program file here and then uh, CMake and then the bin. So first of all, here we're going to uh, to specify this uh, path here to this directory. So we have OpenCV build x64, and then we're going to VC15, and then we link to both or like add both the bin and the library files here to our, our environmental uh, variables. And we do the same thing for the bin here for our CMake uh, program. So we're actually like able to run CMake uh, and compile that with our uh, with our libraries up here in OpenCV. 
So now we're gonna edit these directories here to the path of our, our environmental variables here. We just press okay, okay, and okay here. So now we have added these directories here to our environmental uh, variables, and we can now go into Visual Studio here. So I'm just at the start page here of Visual Studio code, and we're going to create a new project. We're going to set it up with OpenCV, the new project. We're going to create our CMake list file. So first of all here, we're going to create a new project here. So we just go up to file, and we want to open a new folder. So if we go into the folder here and we just here, we just create a new uh, a new folder here or a new project. So we're just going to call this OMCV, OMCV uh, test. So now we create this new folder here and we're going to select that, this folder here. So we actually like create a new project. We can see we now open it in a new window here. We get our OMCV test here. So we actually like have created this new project where we can go uh, create our new files. So when we have created this new project here, we actually like need to install some extensions for Visual Studio Code to be able to set up OpenCV and also uh, C++ here in, uh, in Visual Studio. So if we're going to the extensions here, first of all, we need to install uh, the C++, uh, C++ um, extension here. So first of all, we need this C, C++ here from Microsoft. So we will need to go in and install this from this extension here as well. And you will just go into here. If you haven't installed it, you can just go into it, click this install button here, and it will set everything up for you in Visual Studio Code here. We also need to some CMake um, extensions here to actually like, be able to use CMake and create like a, a CMake file and, and, and use that in, open, uh, in, um, in Visual Studio Code here together with OMCV. So first of all, we need to install this CMake here as well. And we also need the CMake tools here, um, which, which has some support for actually like configuring, uh, configuring the CMake here and creating the CMake file um, or like the CMake text file here that we're going to specify the different kind of libraries that we're going to, to use and how we actually like build our files with OMCV and our program that we're going to create. So we both need the C++ extension, the CMake extension and the CMake tool extension. And then we can actually like just go in after we install that we can go into our project here again we just hit our project here and then we hit shift control p so we actually like open up our command palette and then when we come in here we just uh, type here cmake and then when we come into here we actually like just hit this uh, configuration here because first of all we want to configure uh, our cmake so when we go into this here we actually like need to choose the architecture or like the compiler uh, that we want to use so in this case here we're just going to use this uh the last one here so we have this um x86 uh, here and then we have amd architecture so if i hit this here we have now chosen the compiler that we're going to use with um, uh, with the c++ and then uh, we're going to use that to actually like build and compile our program with OpenCV as well later on. So down here at the bottom, we can see that uh, the CMake list file here, or like the text file for our uh, CMake configuration was not found in the root folder. Uh, how would you like to proceed? And then we're just going to hit this create button here. So we actually like create the CMake file here. And then when we come up here, we actually like need to enter the name for the project that we're going to use. So in this case here, we just have this OpenCV uh, test here. So when I hit enter here, it will now create this file here. And then we need to specify if we want to create an, an, an library or an executable. And in this example here, we're going to create a, an executable um, for this project and, and this case here. So now it actually like it configures and it creates this CMake file list here where we can specify some different kind of things. And it is in this file here that we're going to link and, and, and add this OpenCV library that we can then use later on. So first of all here, we can see that it now created this main file here as well. This is just prints out hello world. And it adds this executable here to the CMake file. So it actually like builds, when we're actually like building this program or this project here, it will add this main, uh, main program here or this main file here together um, in the build files as well. So first of all here, we're just going to have some minimum required versions here of CMake. We're going to specify the project that we're going to use. We're including some C test, enable testing. We're adding the executable, the main file here in this OpenCV project. So this is the project name. And then this is the file that we're going to, uh, to add as well to the executable. And then we're going to set up some different kind of things here um, as well. But to be able to set up OpenCV here, I have some different kind of lines of code here that we need to add. And I'll link all of these lines of code here or like these lines of setup here in the description. So you can just copy paste that into the CMake file here and then compile your program uh, later on so you don't have to type in uh, everything by yourself so first of all here we need to have this find package so we actually like we're going to find the package omcv and then we're going to specify this omcv required and the upper and low case here are very important to actually like, be able to find uh, this omcv specific package and then we're actually like when we actually like, have found the package here we're going to include 
uh, directories and i'll just copy paste it over here again and as i just said all, all of these things here will be in the description so you can just go copy paste them as well and then build your program with cmake here so we can actually like use OpenCV in visual studio code so now we're going to include the directories here so we're going to include the directories for our OpenCV files and we're just going to specify this OpenCV include uh, dears which is the directories and we just have this um, as a variable so it is really important that we have added the, the directories here or OpenCV in our environmental uh, variables. So we're going to include the directories here. And after that, we can actually like just target the link libraries. So where uh, we're actually like going to link uh, from those libraries to OpenCV. So after our add executable here, we're going to add the, the last line here to be able to actually like uh, set up OpenCV here with CMake in Visual Studio Code. So we have this target link libraries here as well. We're going to specify the, the name of our program here. So in this case, you're like a project, it is OpenCV and this is test so this is our project name and then we just have the the variable here for opencv libraries as well so now we both have like uh, all set up here so we found find the package we include the directories we add the executable file with our main file here so we can actually like, use opencv in this main file here and i'll show you in a, a short example of uh, that is working as well here uh, in a second and then we have this target link libraries here we specify the project name and then we have the, the opencv library files here um, as a variable so now we have actually like created and set up our cmake list file here or like the text file here and then we can actually like when we hit uh, control is here we will save this configuration and it will actually like set everything up with uh, with cmake here uh, so first of all here we can see that it detects some different kind of compilers here it builds the files have been written to uh, my directory here so we have this project here opencv test and then all the files here have has been built and written to uh, this build folder uh, in this directory here and we can see that we both found this OpenCV build here and we can also see the version that it found so it depends on the version that you download on the side but it, we can see that it goes into my c directory OpenCV, and then the build files and then it found these uh, this version here the configuration is done and the generation is also done and then the build files has been written to this project here so now we have actually like built OpenCV into our project here that we specified in visual studio code here so for now we're going to the main file here i just have a short sample code here that i just copy pasted in and i'll i'll link to it here and i'll put it up in my uh in my github as well so you we can just go copy paste this code or like this sample code here as well so you we can see if you have set up omsv visual studio code uh, correctly as well so first of all we're just going to include uh the std uh, io and we're going to com uh, com uh, include the omsv library here as well then in our style of our main function we're just going to read in an image here which is in read function and i just specified uh this path here or like this directory here where i've stored the lena image so we're just going to display that afterwards first of all we're going to check if we could not load in the image and then we will turn minus one and we can print out that we have no image data here um, in our matrix then we're just going down here at the bottom we're going to show the image that we're loaded in then we're going to wait for us to press a key before we're uh, terminating a program and returning server so this is just a short and simple uh, program to be able to see if we have set up omsv uh, with OMS, uh, with with plus in visual studio code here correctly so to actually like build this program here and run it to see if it actually like, works we go down here to the bottom and we hit this build uh, build uh, button here we can see that we're now building the folder omcv test so this is the project that we're going to build we're, we're, we, uh, we have started the building and we're going to have this executable command from our cmake file so we're actually like, going to use cmake to build our all our files together and we actually like, create an executable that we can then run later on so we can see down here that we're checking the build system and we have this um, this executable file here which has written to our project build and then in the debug folder and then we actually have an executable file now where we have compiled and linked all the opencv files together with our main file here so we can actually like run this program now and we can load in the lena image we can see here that our build finished it with exit code zero so there were no errors and we were able to actually like build our program here uh, with opencv in c++ here in visual studio code so to actually like run the program, we just go down here to this play button. And when I hit this one here, it will now uh, it will now run this executable file here. And we can see that we're now displaying this Lena image, which is what our, our code uh, was supposed to do. So we can down see here that we're just uh, we're just running this executable file here that we, that, we, that we wrote out to this debug file here when we actually like compiled or and built our project. So 
We can now see that we have set up Open, uh, Visual Studio Code here with OpenCV in C++ correctly. So the only things we had to do was to create this. Uh, first of all, we needed to um, install CMake and OpenCV from their official website. Then we needed to go in at, at those paths to the env environmental uh, variables. And then we had to go into Visual Studio here, set up CMake. First of all, we needed to download the extensions. So the three extensions that we needed uh, was the CMake tools, CMake, and also the C++ uh, extension here in Visual Studio Code. So we can actually like run C++ code. And then we had to kind of configure this CMake file here with the lines of uh, with the lines uh, of text here that I showed you. And I'll put all of it in the description here or in my GitHub. And then you can just go copy paste it into a project and you can just um, Compile it, build your program and run it so you can just get started uh, real fast here in Visual Studio Code uh, with OpenCV. So thank you guys for watching this video here and remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video here. And also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future. Uh, it really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. So I just really appreciate the support. I'm currently also doing a deep learning tutorial where we're talking about like the basics of neural networks convolutional neural networks. We're going to create our own neural networks from scratch, train it off some different kind of data sets, and we're going to do predictions on data that it hasn't seen before. So if you're interested in deep learning and neural networks and all of those applications, I'll link to the tutorial up here or else I'll just see you in the next video, guys. Bye for now.